My name is Ted Thurston. I'm a chemist and applications engineer at Rose Batteries. We've been discussing the sequence of tests in the UN 38.3 uh, transportation testing. We're now going to discuss the T7 or overcharge test. This is done on all rechargeable lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. How the, how the test is performed is when the manufacturer's recommended charge voltage is not more than 18 volts. The minimum voltage on the test shall be the lesser of two times the maximum charge voltage of the battery or 22 volts. So for instance, if you have a 2S battery where you would have an 8.4 maximum charge voltage, here for the abuse test you'd be using 16.8 volts. Conversely, if you had a 4S where you'd have a 16.8 volts, two times that would be over 30 volts and therefore you would use the charge cap limit of 22 volts. For higher series products where it would be greater than 18 volts, the minimum charge voltage will be 1.2 times the maximum charge voltage. All batteries when overcharged are charged at twice the recommended manufacturer's continuous charge current. The requirement for this testing on rechargeable batteries is a pass will be met if there's no disassembly and no fire during the test and within seven days after the test. The test itself occurs over a 24-hour time period at room temperature once the overcharge has been initiated. Thank you for taking the time to listen to these various videos that we have prepared. This may lead to additional questions, which we will be happy to field. Please reach out to us at engineering at rosebatteries.com.